Nye County is bracing for the overnight impacts of Tropical Storm Hillary that could bring dangerous flooding to the area. Monday classes have been canceled there and the sheriff says emergency crews are now on standby ready for rescues. Don't ever under, underestimate the power of Mother Nature. Uh, water can kill just as quickly as a car crash and it's more quiet when it's coming toward you. As we feel Tropical Storm Hillary's impact, the town of Pahrump in southwest Nye County could experience a weather event unlike anything it's seen in recent history. And the sheriff says it's not necessarily prepared for. Our infrastructure here in Pahrump and in Nye County altogether is, is not prepared for a major rain event like this. Uh, we don't have flood channels. We don't have retention basins. The Nye County Sheriff says the main priority now is the safety of residents, and the Red Cross is ready to help. They started mobilizing their teams across southern Nevada late last week. We've been staging our equipment in various areas that we were worried about having washouts. So we've actually staged equipment to be able to support the Moapa Valley as well as the Prompt Valley because of the tendency of the roads to wash out and having substantial flooding in those areas. The Red Cross opened an emergency shelter Sunday afternoon at the Bob Rudd Community Center in Pahrump. And the Nye County Sheriff says crews are prepared for rescue efforts in the aftermath of the storm. If we get calls of people needing assistance, we're going to do everything in our power to get there. We do have assistance from National Guard uh, that was activated by the governor and they have delivered uh, high water vehicles that will allow us to get places where we may not be able to in a regular patrol vehicle or pickup. And in addition to the Pahrump site, the Red Cross has also opened an emergency shelter at the community center in Searchlight. But that shelter actually closed tonight because no one used it, but they say it might open again tomorrow. So here are both of those addresses if you do need shelter during this storm.